So I had a lot of these mini digital videotapes that I needed to move over to basically a digital version, uh, not on these tapes anymore. So I have my old Panasonic digital video recorder, very poor resolution, but I'm right now I'm doing the transfer over to my hard drive. So what I'm using is this Roxio uh, Easy VHS to DVD 3 Plus. You can do other things with this, but uh, I'm, the only thing I'm using this for is to move tapes to my hard drive. It comes with a manual and DVD and the Roxio unit, which I'll show you in a second. So this is the Roxio unit working right now. So it's just a video capture USB right here connected to my computer, which uh, if you follow me regularly, this is the computer that I just made with that fan in the front for ventilation. Connect it with, I think this is an S-Video type connector, but right now I am just using the video cable, audio right, audio left cable. And then this goes over to this tangled mess and goes right into the video camera here. And that's just a 3.5 millimeter jack. So as you can see, there's a FireWire input here, a USB input there. Those things do not work. I think they're more for the transferring the still pictures out of this SD that's in the camera there. Um, but otherwise, it won't do anything for the video itself. Now, at the time I was editing, the price actually went up to about $80, which is double what I paid for. When I paid for this, I paid $39.99. Canadian for this. So I don't know what happened on Amazon, but the price doubled. Now there are older programs of this, and I would suggest you go for those because they are much cheaper. In order to start a new transfer, we got to go from to the home page here. I don't really name it something new. Go to record, edit, and save start a new project and it's going to look for the video signal there we go so that is the same signal that's going on down here and that's how I know it's working and then what we do is we start with the red button here so it's starting to record and then I simply press the play button on my recorder and that should be it that's starting there so it has to do it in real time here so I let it run I put my timer on for about one hour and then I'll come back once it's done The video length is about 16 minutes and 8 seconds and we come down over to this bottom right corner to ready to export and then that's what it will do is it'll go through the export process there are some choices Android tablet Facebook YouTube directly uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to computer. So click on the computer. Let's just go to videos. Videos, captures, just regular videos. Like I don't want to go into this captures whole section there. There we go. Let's go to H2. TSC. Bitrate. I want to go to the best quality. For the data rate. Why not, right? And then that's it. So we'll have everything to the best possible settings, and then export. And this is what should take the longest bit of time. So a very interesting thing happens. When you install this Roxio on my main computer here, it worked actually fine for the first couple videos. But once I shut it down or closed the program itself, then what happened was is that it would have audio but no video anymore. I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, and still the same issue would happen. But when I installed my the Roxio on this old computer, and again, I, this is one of my recent videos where I put the, uh, the ventilation fan in the bottom here, it works. This computer here is about 12 years old. So this 12-year-old computer, with Windows 10 by the way, uh, works fine with that. Now, in one of the comments uh, on the video review in the Amazon site said that because there was DirectX 9 working on the older computer and this works up to this supports DirectX 9 instead of the newer versions that are out there um, they felt that that may have contributed to the uh, old computer 
working better than the new computer for this particular program, which I don't know. It might make sense, but all I know is that it does work on this computer and I think that's why I'm going to keep it around. I have some other ideas and uses for this computer coming up in some other videos in the future, but at least for now, I know that the rocks, if I ever have a, any old tapes that I want to transfer onto a hard drive, I know this will work on here, but not on my new computer. So, in conclusion, would I pay that $40 or more for that program to change these tapes into a digital copy on my hard drive? Well, yes, because the other options were going to Costco or some other one as well, and the costs were quite, quite expensive, so it would be to change all my tapes over would be over two, almost three hundred dollars to change these tapes over to a digital copy on my hard drive. And actually they do make a DVD for you that you take home and then you have to copy onto your hard drive. Not uh, worth it to me. Spending that forty or fifty dollars to do that on your own I think is worth it. If you only have one computer and it doesn't work on there then yeah you're in you're in deep doo-doo but you know if you have an older computer this probably will work for you. But for me, this worked, and I hope it works for you. Mm -hmm.